Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are continuing our Laravel e-commerce series. So we are going to do about the new arrivals or new items. So which we are going to fetch all the products items. So which will be added all the new items that will be fetched as a new arrival. So guys, let's get started with it. So first make sure you're going to your products go to the products and all your products will be added over here right so now let us fetch this over here in this at main page so let's go to route web.php so over here you can see that this is the slash home page where at this function we are calling this page so let's comment this and create one controller let's start php artisan make colon controller where inside front end folder so inside my apps i have one front end folder inside my controller where forward slash front end controller okay and let's hit enter one front end controller will be created so guys now let us call that page so let me just close this and go over here so let's create a route route where get function and inside this single quotes give forward slash and then call your controller so inside my front end where i am going to call front end controller at index so let's copy this and call this page over here public function index function let's go copy this and paste so guys now what we have to fetch this data of your products so this products data should be fetched inside this so let's get back create one variable called products is equal to and call your product model so products where colon colon where you are going to use condition and inside this you are going to pass the status which will be so let's get back over here show and hide option so when it is checked means it should not be shown if it is unchecked it should be shown over here so that condition we can check in the database let's go into products and as you can see that status is zero right now so zero means it should be shown over here so let's pass that zero and again use the where condition where you're going to call the categories i mean new arrivals so in this product list we have added one new arrivals so let me just edit and show you click on edit let's go on product status you can see the option called new arrivals that is checked over here so let's see in the database okay so you can see that new arrivals underscore product so this is my column name so let's copy that column name and pass over here let's copy this new arrival products and pass and give over here if it is one then only you have to get all the products so what you're going to get you're going to get only 15 products so let's pass that take 15 out of that and let's use compact function so inside this compact function you're going to put single quotes and pass this variable that's it we need to add one more thing which will be that new arrival means latest arrivals or latest products we tell as we will sort by order by okay so order by function so let me just break this over here let's take order by where we are going to call this at created at so let's call that created at this will be my created at field in my database where i'm going to call it by this descending order wise so let's take this and add that get function to fetch all the data so guys now let's move inside this page 
so this is my home page which is shown over here with this slider okay and we are going to remove this and create the other thing so let's remove and we'll keep it fresh and start with that so guys i have already designed the form so let me just paste that design okay and now guys let me just see the output let's refresh over here you can see that new arrival heading and one simple card with the product name and the offer price and then original price view detail button so when we view detail that time the order will be viewed as per this page okay so once you open with this let's go over here let me just show that view detail so in this format we will be opening this okay with the same url pattern so let's get back and now let's fetch all the details from this admin dashboard data let's get back over here so this is my column md3 and then let's use for each loop for each and pass that variable called products as new arrival items let's copy before that let's paste this down call the path of it so my path a set function where inside this you are going to paste this path paste and let's remove this and concatenate with the dollar new arrivals items of the IMG image save let's get back refresh you can see that total how many is there it has come now let's fetch all this product details correctly and then use that let's add margin top three and the product name copy where product name will be from your database it's a name so let's copy this and paste that so this will be the product name copy and then offer price where you'll be pasting that offers original price and then your offer price and simple just redirect with this url so once you click on this view button this url should be called according to that so according to your filtration of it's under electronics then under mobile then under mi brand same way you have to just call that path so let me just call with it so let's refresh first and check that output okay so you can see that perfect output has come so let's paste the path over here so i have already done so let me just paste okay so guys i'm using the relationship to call the urls like one to one one to many has many so that time see as we have called this price called new arrival item of offer price so same way i'm calling it's new arrival url then new arrival subcategories url then categories url with the group url also okay so if you're watching this from starting you can understand this relationships so guys now let's refresh and check the output with it so let me refresh again and now let's click on this product first so i'm going to click on this view so where you can see that correct brand has been viewed so this is how we make new arrivals so let us see the functionality of this first let's go to dashboard not here let me close this let's go over here and now you can see this samsung phone and this shirt i don't want under this new arrivals so you can just go with there let's select the samsung first edit go to product status and uncheck this let's update updated so your product is updated go to product status see it is unchecked 
now let's refresh and see this samsung data should not be seen over here let's see refresh you can see that that data has been not set i mean it's gone so this is how we are setting new arrivals now after fetching all these new arrivals details so over here you can see the few new arrivals thing for example which we have set over here in our controller where 15 products only is taken okay as a new arrivals suppose if you have more than 50 products so how will you show over here so it's not possible right so for that you need to set a navbar with the new arrivals or one button called view all at new arrivals let me just create one a tag view all and this button name will be class button button hyphen primary and over here we will call the url as new arrival which we have set on this navbar so let's click on this new arrivals copy this url paste so let's create one simple page for it is route where you are going to get function and the same forward slash and then give your controller so we'll use the same controller with the front end new arrival function so let's copy this and create a function inside the front end controller so let's paste and let me just copy this again and paste the same thing and let's change this function name over here and now guys we need to just remove this take function which will be that all the products will be fetched so let's change this path new arrivals dot index okay so i have already created this folder and the file so let me just show you over here as you can see resource views front end inside front end new arrivals inside that index page so guys now let's design that same format so let's copy this and paste over here and remove this slide apart and tell the title as new arrivals save and let's remove this option and now guys let's refresh this you can see the output okay so guys now let's get back on the home page you can see that all your seven products with the view button we'll tell this as float right rig ht refresh okay so now when we click on this view all that time it will show so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share and continue next video about the carousel